One of the easiest and the most cost-effective way to use your Canon camera as a webcam for Zoom calls and live streaming and things like that is to use it with a USB cord. And the only way to do that is with the EOS webcam utility software. This is a free software that Canon offers and has now released the Mac version to be able to be used with Apple computers. And we're gonna see if it actually works as I download it, install it, and get it up and running in real time. So let's go. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Takoy with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video. And on this channel, sometimes we do YouTube strategy tips as well as tutorial-based videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. As an Apple Mac user myself, when Canon released the webcam utility app and they said it was also a beta version to be used with Apple. It didn't work with things like Zoom and uh, certain other programs, but I'm a Zoom user. We use Zoom almost here every day at Think Media. And so it was kind of frustrating to know that this option wasn't available. And I know how much people probably who work at home or do uh, communication via video conferencing are probably using apps like Zoom. And so uh, they have just released their new and improved Mac version. So we're gonna see how this works. I got my screen record here. I'm on the uh, Canon website. And so I know I just need to, uh, here we go, Mac official release. And then I think I just find my camera, uh, which is right here at the bottom. And I'll be using a Canon M50 for this example. And so here we go, click in the Canon M50. Uh, let's, boom, boom, boom. I'm selecting it and I'm, don't, I actually think you don't need to fill this out by the way. So don't give them your information. Um, and so we're gonna download this. I'll just put it right on the desktop to make it easily accessible. And so we're going to now open this bad mamba jamma up, start the installation. I hope it's this easy. I got my fingers crossed. Yes, yes. Close application and install. So now it's restarting the laptop. I'm just gonna start hooking things up as this happens. So I'm just gonna plug in this USB into the camera. I'm going to then, I'm actually using this Amazon Basics kind of USB-C to USB converter. You can also buy a uh, you know micro to USB-C so you don't have to use a dongle. And we'll post links to everything uh, that we recommend down in the description below if you wanna check it out if you don't already have a USB cord for your camera. A few moments later. All right, so the laptop has been restarted. I have plugged in my USB and the camera itself actually knows that it's hooked up to my computer as you can see this right here, it is uh, has the computer emblem, I guess you could say. But let's open up Zoom and see if this thing actually works. I'm gonna open up Zoom, hop into my settings, and then go to video, and boom, it works. I got autofocus, I don't see no data. Let's see if you can focus, ooh, that's nice. So it works, the Mac OS. I'm gonna hop in a new meeting, and uh, we are up and running. And so, man, what a cool free way to, you know, level up your live streams or your Zoom calls. Um, but I've been waiting for this for such a long time just to make it easy, right? Um, I guess you could say the alternative to this was kind of using a capture card, uh, something like this uh, that turns into an HDMI. So instead of using a USB, you would use an HDMI cord, which, I think it's important to say that this isn't an HD resolution. Uh, it does look good because it is a camera and, and which is better than the webcam. Uh, let me just hop into my webcam real quick just so you can see the difference. Like, holy dinge and grain. Um, showing up to meetings looking like I came out of the gremlins. I don't even know. But you can, you know, obviously there's a huge upgrade in doing it this way. Uh, let's just see real quick. I guess it doesn't hurt to test it out and see how it looks in comparison. So uh, here's a good look of what it looks like with the USB using the Canon webcam utility software. And now let's hook up the HDMI and see how that looks. 12 seconds later. So this is the image you get when using a USB cord using the EOS webcam utility app. Let's see how it looks by using the capture card, uh, which is another way that you can live stream. Obviously costs money, but let's try it out in three, two, one. Hop right into the USB camera. And so I guess right off the bat, I guess the, the 
The downside of using this with a Canon, with a camera like the Canon M50 is that the Canon M50 doesn't have a clean HDMI. So now I need to turn off autofocus and then lock in my focus manually, uh, which isn't terrible because if I'm not moving, uh, then it's fine. But I would have to do that. And I think also, you you know, if you're like, if you're like at this point, you see all my settings and stuff, not ideal. So. Honestly, the Canon EOS webcam utility app is a no-brainer, especially for Mac users. Um, I hope you found this video helpful and that you do the same thing if you have a Canon camera and try it out yourself and start looking super crispy at your Zoom calls um, and things like that. But make sure you check out links in the description to anything that could help you in this as far as like tabletop tripods and the USB cord you want. Um, make sure to check out the description below and you can check out a video on a mic we use. I think when you level up your video, you kind of want your mic to sound just as good as your video looks, if that makes sense. So you can click or tap the screen by checking that out or check out another video from Think Media and I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.